What's up, everybody? It's Greg Birch with Delta Financial, and this is the Be the Difference podcast. This podcast is all about making you a better person in your life and in your business with sales, leadership, mindset, marketing, everything under the sun when it comes to being an entrepreneur. I have a great message for everyone today. Um, I, I want to talk more about referrals. I'd, I'd already done a podcast about um, ways to drip content and how to stay in front of your clientele. But today, I want to talk more about the power of referrals. And if you, I want to do some math with you. If you were to get, let's say, 100 different clients, this is how powerful referrals can be. Um, If you get 100 different clients that you service them in their entire family, like you built a relationship with these people where they give you a minimum of 10 families each 10 other people to help either it's you know close friends direct family acquaintances their children their grandchildren whatever but if you were to do that and then look at the average policy over time and you look at the average amount of policies if you were to do it with somebody that's young let's say that's you you got them when they're young at 25 26 to you know 28 29 and you get them at every stage of life and you get their first term policy. You get their first mortgage protection policy. You get an IUL for them for a tax free retirement. You get a, um, a final expense whole life policy on them. And when you look at all these and you do that across the board with all their friends, their family member, and you can apply that equally across 10 different people over the hundred and look at the average policy rates, you're looking at a multi-million dollar book of business that's got residuals built in for all the people you've helped. And it's just 100 people. It's just 100 people, right? There's too many agents out there that are looking at just getting more leads. And and leads aren't a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. I love leads. I've, like, I've used leads extensively. I just found a better way to build my book of business through doing referrals that helps me to get higher premiums. It helps me to get more business, but I also provide a premium service. Like when I, when I sit with a client, I make it a worthwhile experience for them. I want to make sure it's all focused on them. I truly take care of them and I get intimate with the details of their life because I want to, I want to know everything about them. And I want to, I make sure that they know that I'm their guy. I'm the guy that they call for anything right? And I end up being that guy. And so when you do that, if you did it with just a hundred people, I promise you, you would have so much marketing that's free. That's going out from those a hundred people that you would never have a, have to buy a lead again. I can guarantee you, you would never have to buy a lead again. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can, that you can, uh, drip content or you can keep a referral book of business. I think one way that I would like to talk about that I think is overlooked is doing like Facebook groups. You it's, it's pretty powerful to set up your own Facebook group and then get people to join into it because you can, you can actually target a niche market. These are the people that like understand you and you understand them and you know how to help them the best. And you can create your own group. That's all about providing value to each other. But this is a way that you can stay top of mind in front of them and drip content consistently just by sending posts in that, in that group, people will see it and you build affinity with these people. And then they'll bring more people to the to the group over time. If as long as the content is valuable and good, they'll bring more people like them. And those people will get in touch with you and they'll be part of the group. And over time, just through seeing your posts, by providing value, by seeing who you are, what are they going to do? They're going to want to have a conversation with you to see if you can help them the same way you help their friend. So this is another, there's a lot of different ways that you can break this down, but that's just one way that I've seen be effective for free on social media that you can do in conjunction with getting leads at the same time, build this out, get leads, make sure you add your, your clients to your group because you like, Hey, everything insurance, it doesn't matter what the group's about as long as you're providing value, right? You're staying top of mind. But you just don't want to get lazy with it. When you stay top of mind, you're not going to use just just the group and be like, well, every every two weeks they see me. No, 
you got to do different things. So, um, the power of getting a, a referral book of business is just like I was saying that you'd only need a hundred and too often. I want you to think about the concept of what's called the law of diffusion of innovation. And what the law of diffusion innovation states is that, is that there are different levels depending upon the product or service that you're bringing to market. Okay. So your product or service, who you are as a business, as an individual producer or an agency or whatever, who you are as a business, you have a law of diffusion of innovation. Now, the law of diffusion of innovation shows that the first 10 to 12% of everybody that's on that curve is going to be your early adopters and your early innovators. Those are the people that believe in your service. They believe in who you are. They, they are your niche market, right? Then past that like 12% mark, you have about 70%. And that is the mass market, right? And then once you get past the mass market, you get to the laggards. And these are the people that won't buy it for their, they still have rotary phones because they're not, they're not buying a cell phone. It's just not going to happen. Like you're wasting your time trying to market to those people. Now, where most people go wrong is that they're trying to market to the entire mass market. Okay. Cause they think, well, I'd rather, instead of just marketing to my 10 to 12%, I would rather market to this whole 82% and that way 84% and get as many people as possible. And you think that's actually going to get you more people, but what it does is it dilutes your message and you don't really attract raving fans. And that's what you're trying to get. You're trying to make sure that your clientele are raving fans, that they love who you are in your service. So if you take that and you and you don't make the same mistake that other people are making and instead you focus on, I'm going to focus on helping these kinds of clientele because they're my niche, I understand them, and I am going to be so undeniably great that they're going to have to brag about me. What happens is that that niche market does brag about you. They're the ones that go to the mass market and they do the work for you. So what you're doing is you're doing more work on the front end to build this book of business, to build out your raving fan base. But then what's going to happen, you're going to you're do less work in the, in the long run and you're going to do it. You're going to get free leads all the time. Your cost of acquisition is going to massively drop. So look at the law of diffusion of innovation. If you want to learn more about it, go read the book, The Purple Cow by Seth Godin. It's a fantastic book. It's about marketing principles and it talks specifically about this one. This is where I learned it. Okay. But you got to change the way that you view your marketing, focus in on the people that you can help that are the, that, that believe in the same things that you believe in. And this works for also for recruiting. This works for leadership as well. Okay. It's hard to lead people that don't understand your message. Don't understand who you are real hard. Right. But if you focus on the people that do what you say, that believe in you, that have faith in you, that are going to they, they show up every single time, man, it's a lot easier to lead them. It's a lot easier to help them. And guess what? They're going to become such good believers because you can focus so much on just those people that you take them from zero to hero. Then they're going to go out and they're going to sing your praises. And they're going to be evangelical about your message that you have because you did help them, right? And then they're going to do that. And what's going to happen is that they're going to bring in more people because the way that they do the message is going to be much different than the way that you do the message. And then they're going to be able to help people. It's how you scale. It's how you scale in your business. It's how you scale in sales. This is how you scale in leadership. So start thinking about the way that you are your brand. Think about who you are. That's going to change your marketing. That's going to change the way you talk to clients, change the way you talk to agents. Because that, that does matter. If you got anything out of this, if you learned anything, if you grew, if it changed your perspective and the way you think about things, then do me a favor. I ask for your help. We grow by word of mouth. All I'd like is for you to rate, review, subscribe, and go ahead and share this with somebody. It takes all 60 seconds, right? Somebody else can learn from this and grow from it. And so uh, I appreciate your time. This has been the Be The Difference Podcast. I'm your host, Greg Birch, as always. Until next time, deuces. We'll see.